Hi, welcome to the Avrique workshop. This is the CNC router that we use to create our products. Here is a screenshot of the software that we use. It will produce the G code which controls the router. You can see here a photo of my dog Brownie that has been imported into the software and will be used to create a photo VCARV. I didn't record the router cutting the image into the MDF. What you see here is a layer of black paint that has been applied to the MDF after it came off of the machine. This was a new process for me and I tried many times to get this to work. I would put the workpiece on the router, the V-bit would cut into the MDF, it would produce a lot of sawdust and noise and when it was done I would look at it and I didn't see anything on the surface. I wound up throwing a lot of the pieces away because I didn't think it was doing anything. I thought it was a joke. I would see these nice pieces online and I, I didn't understand how they were doing it. After more research I took the leap of faith put a layer of paint over where I thought the image was, let it dry, and then I started to sand it off. What the router does is it cuts a series of lines that are spaced very close together and also of varying depth as it moves across the image. So when you apply the paint, it's applied to these different varying levels that are on the image. So what you are doing with the sandpaper is removing the higher areas of the image, which is the white areas. The darker areas in the image result from the paint, which is in the deeper crevices. The trick to this is to know when to stop. If you keep sanding, you'll start to remove some of the details. So the question might be, why would you do something like this? One reason is that you are creating an image that can last for a long time. The image is made up of the material and black paint, and that's it. I would also like to be able to apply photographic images to furniture and other products. The intention of the Abrique workshop is to create products that can't be purchased elsewhere and to also help individuals create products for themselves. I hope this video has given you some ideas as to products that you would like to create for yourself. Thanks for watching.